I'm back. My name is Mr. Schaefer. Yeah, Mr. Schaefer. It's been a while. Let's let's kind of ease into this then. I'll tell you a little story. A little story about Pat. Pat the cat. And no, he doesn't wear a hat, but he is an orange striped tiger cat. You ever wonder like how many different kinds of cats there are? You got your orange striped tiger cats, you got your gray striped tiger cats, you got your calico cats, you got your Persian cats, you got your Siamese cats, you got your tortoise shell cats, you got your black cats and white cats, your black and white cats, you got your brown cats with the white socks, and, and I ran out of fingers or so many different kinds of cats. But anyways, let's get back to Pat. He's an orange striped tiger cat who came from a long line of orange striped tiger cats. Both his parents were orange striped tiger cats, and their parents were orange, and both their parents and their parents, all the way back, 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 were orange striped tiger cats. Well, Pat lived with his human family. He was a house cat. He ate, he drank water. He did a lot of lounging around in the sunshine. He enjoyed living there. Uh, one day his human family came back. They were off doing something somewhere and they, they had an interesting box with them. A box with holes and a handle at the top. And they brought it closer to him and set it down. And they said, good news, Pat, we've found you a wife. And they pulled out Vanna. Vanna was an orange striped tiger cat who also came from a long line of orange striped tiger cats. So whenever Pat and Vanna had kittens, offspring, they of course were all orange striped tiger cats because that's the only thing that their DNA knew how to make. And, and here's where we get all sciency, uh, DNA. That's short for dioxyribonucleic acid. Um, what that is, is the, uh, the ingredients list that every single cell in all of our body, let's just, let's just talk about humans now. Um, every single cell in our body contains DNA. It's really, really, really small to be able to fit into all of our cells, because cells are small. In order to fit in there, the DNA has got to be really, really small. Um, you need like a super duper microscope to see it. Um, and they have, they've seen, and it looks like a ladder. You know, the ladder, you got your sides, and you got your rungs. Um, but this kind of ladder is twisted, kind of like a spiral. But not just one spiral, like two spirals. Go, ahead, go like this. Like that. If you want to try that at home later on, you're welcome to. But anyways, uh, this spiral um, DNA uh, contains the genetic information that makes you, you, all the different parts of you. Like if you have uh, brown hair, blue eyes, um, long fingers, a, a round head, big feet, whatever, whatever kind of trait or characteristic about you, uh, every single one of those trait describers is contained in the DNA in every single one of your cells. Kind of think about it this way. That's why on the CSI TV shows, they have the bad guy. Uh, has some, they left some drop of blood at the crime scene. So they, uh, they take a sample and they take it to the lab and they run it through the machines and they do a, a, a analysis of it. And they think, they think it's this guy there. So what they do is they wait till he goes to a restaurant and he orders some soup. Mix his soup. Puts his spoon down, finishes, walks out. And CSI people run over to the soup bowl, grab the spoon, put it in a plastic bag, take it to the lab, run it through the machine, and they look at the analysis of both the saliva from the spoon and the blood drop. And if they match, they've got their guy. Uh, yeah, because everybody's DNA is different. Everybody's, like from way, like all the billions and billions of people that have ever lived on the face of the earth, every single one of us has had different DNA. You're thinking, well, what about identical twins, Mr. Schaefer? Well, identical twins, that's just kind of like a, a nice little title label that's not exactly correct because they're not exactly identical. They're really, 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 really close, but there's just a little tiny bit that's different about them. So no, they're not identical, 
in the big scheme of things, um, they, everybody's has different um, DNA. We get that kind of going back to Pat and Vanna, um, going back, we, they kind of had all of their uh, information come from their parents, um, all those orange striped tiger cats. And, and going back to us again, um, that's where we get our from our parents. Um, we are the our parents' offspring. Um, some of the genetic information comes from mom's side. Some of the genetic information comes from our dad's side. And they come together in various, various proportion to make us us. A little bit from one side, a little bit from other, and there we go. Um, think about this. Um, some people have earlobes that are floppy, not attached at the bottom. And some people do have earlobes that are attached at the bottom, so there's, there's, there's no little um, floppiness in there that are attached all the way down to the bottom. Um, well, if you have that, it comes from either your mom's side or your dad's side. Somewhere along the line on your mom's side or somewhere along the line in your dad's side, they inherited that trait of having earlobes that are either floppy or stuck to the side of their head. Inheriting. Think of it this way. Um, in the movies where there's like, a, like an old rich guy and he passes away, he has a will, and the family goes to the lawyer. And they, they read the will. Um, I, George Johnson of sound mind and body, leave a million dollars to my niece, Robin. I leave my car to my son, Jack. Well, um, Jack and Robin have uh, inherited that material from their uncle. Same thing with your, with your family, um, your genetic material, the genes, not the genes that you're wearing. No, the genes are actually parts of the uh, DNA. That is coming from your um, either your mom's side of your family or your dad's side of your family coming down to make you you. Um, looking at my information here, uh, any other vocabulary words? I, I see, I think, you know, I think I've covered what I want to cover. Uh, we'll, we'll call it a day for today. Um, well, don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow with some more information about genetics. But until then, my name is Mr. Schaefer, and that's all I have to say today. <laughs>